I logged into my Steam the other day. I'm gonna go on my phone and I'm gonna screen record it for you guys. And I was shocked, man. Um, screen recording, three, two, one, cool. So this is my profile. And I went on the games just to see how long I'd probably spent playing games on Steam. If you know anything about video games and you've got Steam, you've got Epic, you've got Origin, you've got the consoles. So this is, this is not even a good like reference point, but on Steam, my most played game was Dota 2. If you guys don't know what Dota 2 is, it's kind of like League of Legends. I know you guys have definitely heard of League of Legends. It's, it's basically the same game, I'm not gonna lie. I started playing Dota 2 when I was 12 years old and I didn't stop until I was like 18, maybe, maybe even older, who knows? But look at that, 974.6 hours. Let's just call it a thousand hours. That is crazy. Bro. And look, if you scroll down, you've got 373, 355, 227, 221, 122, 99. Bro, it just goes on and on. And look, I know that the sad part is I'm, I know that Dota 2 isn't even like my most played one. I used to play games like Overwatch, I loved. Have you heard of Guild Wars 2? It's an MMO. It's a bit like it's a bit like World of Warcraft, but not really. Um, but you know, MMOs, they take up all your time. Bro, I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, probably tens of thousands of hours playing games in total. <laughs> it's crazy. And you know, bro, do you know the sad part is I wasn't even good at Dota 2. <laughs> you know, like um, if you've played League of Legends, it's basically the same. I was just feeding and it wasn't even on purpose, bro. After a thousand hours, that's so sad. That's so sad. I didn't even enjoy it either. I know I know a lot of you guys relate to this feeling that you just play a video game because you have nothing to do or because your friends are playing, but then you lose and it becomes toxic and it's just like, bro, I didn't even have fun. I didn't even have fun. I would have had more fun just doing nothing, staring at a wall, genuinely like. This habit was my habit during my teenage years, but it could apply to anything. It could apply to masturbating. It could apply to watching Netflix. It could apply to anything that you know is you get that kind of feeling in your stomach, the pit of your stomach just says, bro, I'm wasting fucking time, you know? Anything that has that kind of emotion attached to it, bro, stop it, stop it. Let me just put it into context, right? That one game I spent a thousand hours in, right? They say that a road to mastery on any skill is 10,000 hours. If you put together my game time for all my games and kind of gaming related things like in Discord chats and stuff, I would have been a master at a few skills, definitely. A few skills for sure. Bro, I could have been like an insane musician. I could have learned languages. Bro, I've always wanted to write a book. I could be like a sick author by now. You wanna be a web developer? Bro, you're gonna be rich if you start doing that at fucking 15, or at least you would have been. <laughs> it might be too late now. How about some martial arts, bro? Like you get jumped on the street and you know how to actually defend yourself. Sounds pretty nice. What about this very YouTube channel? What if I started this way earlier and I just really dedicated some like proper time to it? Doesn't matter what you choose, right? But as long as it's kind of building on something, it's constructive, like there's only a few gamers out there who actually make it big. And realistically, it's not gonna be you, is it? Like, let, I'm not trying to put you down, but is it gonna be you? If that's your purpose in life, go for it. But like most of us, nah, it's not happening. There's this website called, uh, calculator.org, can't remember. I'll put the link in the description. And I was looking at how many minutes I've been alive for. I've been alive for almost 13 and a half million minutes. That sounds like a crazy amount of time, right? That sounds like infinite almost. Like how do you, that's a long time, right? How do you even put that into like a picture? But if we change the, the, the perspective, like if you're roughly my age and I'm 25, um, how much have you done in that time? Like most of us were growing up in that time and have done nothing. And if, if I told you, here's another 13 and a half minutes, half million minutes, would you, would, you be able to, would you be able to do a lot with that time? Have you built the skills to be able to really like do a lot with that time? Because I'd argue that most of us would not. We'd kind of stay kind of complacent and not really make that many big moves in life. And another question is, how long do you have left? I've lived 13 and a half million minutes. How, how many minutes do I have left? And it might sound like a silly question because I'm 25, but look, my name is George Fernando. Fernando is not my surname. Fernando is my second name. 
and I'm named after my dead uncle who died at 19. I'm 25 now, he was 19 when he died. He died on a motorbike. So how many, how many minutes did he live? 10 million minutes, roughly. And what did he achieve? Bro was too young to achieve anything, but he didn't even try. Like, he didn't know he was gonna die, obviously. He didn't even start, you know what I mean? His, li his life hadn't really started yet. And you might think, yeah, but that was a long time ago and it was kind of different period of time. So different, different factors applied because he died on a motorbike. I don't ride a motorbike, so that ain't gonna apply to me. Yeah, what about one of my best friends who died in 2020? He was like you or me. He was one of the people I played Dota 2 with, right? He died at 22. How many minutes did he live? 11,700,000. And again, he didn't achieve anything. He didn't get a chance. Well, he did get a chance, but he didn't even start. He didn't give himself a chance. It's really sad because now he can't. You don't know how many minutes you have left, bro. It's time to start. The sense of urgency needs to kick in. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard, bro. But I don't, you've probably heard this before. Choose your heart. It's hard to be a lazy, fat piece of shit. Which one would you prefer to be? Rich and happy, healthy, strong, or a lazy, fat piece of shit who masturbates, can't get a girl, has no purpose in life, and... Yeah, bro. Um, this is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time.